Hi, I'm Lori Rulin. I'm an InDesign and Illustrator Certified Instructor, and today I'm going to show you how to use a feature called Gridify in InDesign. Gridify in InDesign allows us to place pictures or icons or even text and create a grid of frames that are all exactly the same size. It'll automatically fill those frames with the icon, text, or photo. Now I'm going to choose File Place and then choose Multiple Pictures holding down my Shift key, and then I'll click Open. Now, I can place these pictures one at a time, but it's time consuming, and the gaps between my photos and the photos themselves are not guaranteed to be the exact same size. I'm going to hit Escape to get those out of my cursor two times, and then I'll select these and delete them. Now, I'm going to place again by going to File Place, and I'm going to go to this little Icons folder and load up these 12 little icon graphics that I have and click on Open. Now to use Gridify, number one, you need to load up your cursor with multiple graphics. Number two, we're going to click and drag and make a large box, and here's the trick right here. Hit your up and down arrow keys on your keyboard while you're holding down the mouse. So you'll see I'm making the large bounding box here, and now I'll hit my up arrow key two times and my right arrow key three times for a grid of four by three. When I release, you'll see that all of those little icons will completely fill the frames that were created. Let me try that again. I'll delete these items and choose File, Place, or Command or Control D, select these icons one more time, and I'll click Open. Again, I'll click and drag, make a nice large box, hit my up arrow key and my right arrow key to get a grid of 12. Now some great shortcuts to know with placing these graphics using Gridify if I hit my page up key multiple times, you'll see that I'll get that gap between those items larger, and if I hit the page down key, that little gap will get much smaller. Now another shortcut I can use is to hold down the command and the up or down arrow keys. Now there's a little bug on the Mac here where sometimes it doesn't work the first time you hit it. So I'm going to hold the command key and then hit the up arrow key, and that will change the horizontal lines or the horizontal gap, I'll hold the command key and the right arrow key to change the vertical line. Once I'm done with those shortcuts, I'll go ahead and release, and now I've got my graphics the size that I want to. Let me try that one more time. I'll hit delete, and this time I'm going to load up these five green icons here, and I'll hit open. Now I want these icons to be placed throughout my document, but I want to make sure that they're exactly the same size. So I'll click and drag. I noticed that I had five of them. So I'll hit my right arrow key and I'll get five little graphic boxes here. I'll release and there I have five perfectly sized graphics inside of those frames. A question I get asked quite often is, now that I've placed them on my page and I see them, they might be a little too big. I can use the same shortcut, Command and Shift, and grab one of the corners of all five selected icons and this will allow me to resize those icons on the fly. All right, so now let's gridify using some photos. I'm going to select these, choose File, Place, and come back to my Graphics folder. And again, I'll choose my dog photos. I'll click on Open. And now I have four photos loaded up. I'll click and drag, hit my up arrow key and my right arrow key to make a grid of four. Now when I release, you'll notice that these photos do not perfectly fit inside of the boxes that I have created. It's a different aspect ratio. So there's two things I can do. I can either choose Object Menu Fitting and come down here to Fill Frame Proportionally, or I can choose the button at the top of the screen here called Fill Frame Proportionally. By choosing this, my photos will automatically fill or get larger and completely fill that frame. Now let me try that one more time, and I'm going to couple this with adding text at the bottom of the photos. So again, I'll go to File Place, I'll choose my dog pictures, click on Open, and now I want them to go across my page. So I'll click and drag and hit my right arrow key, and I'll release when I get four photos. I'll come up here to the top and choose Fill Frame Proportionally. Now I'd really like to have some captions underneath here. So instead of making one caption and dragging it and duplicating it, I'm going to switch to my T tool, my Type tool, and if I click and drag, I can make a large box that is bounded by the right and left edges of my photos and then hit the right arrow key four times and this will give me four boxes. These are text frames. Now when I release, there's one small problem here. 
The problem is that my text frames are threaded. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and you'll notice that if I click on this first one and I type in the one dog one, when I hit return, I'm going to go to the next line. Now I'll backspace here. If I hit the enter key on the number keypad, I'll actually go to the next frame in my threaded bunch of frames. So I'll type in dog two, I'll hit the enter key, dog three, and the enter key again, and dog four. Now, here's a hidden little trick here. If I go to Window, Utilities, Scripts, and then in my Scripts panel that will show up, I'm going to choose a script called Split Story. Now, this Split Story is located in the JavaScript Samples, and I'll come down here to Split Story, I'll double click, and you'll see that each one of these frames is now split into its own frame. Love that little trick. The last trick I want to show you with Gridify is to create empty frames. The problem with these photos here is that I really cannot control the order that they're placed in. What if I wanted the yellow dog to be first and this grass over here to the fourth position? I'd have to change those later. So I'm going to select all of these and delete. And this time I am going to use the rectangle frame tool. This is an empty frame. I'll just choose my tool, click and hold and drag and make my larger frame hit my right arrow key and get myself four little frames. Then I can choose my selection tool, go to file place, pick up these pictures and hit open. And I can choose anywhere that I'd like to place these pictures. So I can click and click and click and choose the order. Now you'll notice they're all very large. So again, I'm going to select them all and fill them proportionally. I'm going to leave you with one of my favorite little tricks with Gridify. We're going to choose the ellipse frame tool and click and drag, make myself a very large circle here. And by hitting the up arrow key and the right arrow key, I can divide that circle into multiple circles. I'm also going to hit the page down key, and this is going to bring these circles so that they butt up next to each other. I'll hold my shift key to make sure that they're perfect circles, and then I'll go ahead and add and delete and take away a couple of these rows. There we go. That looks great. Now you'll notice that when I release that each one of these circles has an X inside of it, meaning that I have multiple frames. If I place a picture, it's only going to go inside of one circle at a time. By going up to the object menu, coming down to Pathfinder, and choosing the command called Add, I'm able to take these multiple circles and add them together so that they are one frame. Watch the X's in the background turn to one large X in the entire frame. So now all these circles are really one frame. I can choose the file menu, come down to place and pick any picture that I want and click on open. And that one photo will actually show up inside of all of those circles. I'll click away and hit my W key and show the preview. If I wanted to move her face so that her nose and her eyes are right in the middle here, I can just double click and reposition the photo on the inside. And I'll click away and leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Gridify in InDesign.